the interior bumps. The interior bumps. bumps. So we're going to use something a little bit different now. Um, and this time what we're going to use is a reinforced thumb pad. And we're going to just use the tip of our thumb here, our pad actually, to make our contact. These guys are going to come in from underneath and pull the joints apart. We call it, we call it spreading the orange. We're spreading the orange. So you might remember when you were a kid, you'd get an orange and then someone would cut it up for you. And then you'd take it and you'd suck all the juice out. And then you would, what would you do with it? You would turn the peel inside out so you can get the rest of it. That's what you know what I'm talking about? That turning the peel inside out, spreading the orange. Spreading the orange. All right, it looks like this. So, but what's left here that I haven't done? Well, let's start with the proximal row. What's left in the proximal row that I haven't tested? Lunate. Lunate. What's the landmark for the lunate? Third. What's the landmark for the lunate? Lister's tubercle. All right, so there's your fifth styloid. I'm going to come across, or your radial styloid, I'm going to come across. I'm feeling for that. Listers, oh, there it is. It should be somewhere around in line with the third and the second. There's his listers. If I flex the wrist, what should happen? Pop out. Luna should pop out. There it is. I've just found it. Thumb over thumb. From underneath, I'm going to spread the orange. Watch what happens. I'm going to pull from underneath. I'm going to push from the top. Take out the slack. Spring, spring. Does that bother at all? All right, now watch. I'm going to mark my spot. We're going to turn the wrist over. Mark my spot and do exactly the same thing. Spread the orange, lean through it, spring, spring. See how his wrist now flexes? All right, on this side, you see how it extended? That's, that's my pre, you know, three, pre, pre spring tension. Spring, spring, mark it, turn it over. Spread the orange, spring, spring. So there's my lunate. And I only have two other bones that are, I haven't done yet. They're distal row bones. Let's start from the, this side. What's my, what haven't I done yet? Trapezoid. How do I find it? What's my landmark? Base of the second bump, right? Second metacarpal bump. There's the bump. Oh, slide past it. There it is. Should be in line with the second. Spread the orange. Spring, spring. Mark it. Can't go this way, can I? I got to go this way. He doesn't want me to go that way. Right? <laughs> Spread it. Spring, spring. Got one more to do. What's that? The very sad... Capitate, what's the landmark? Depression. depression. The depression at the base of the third. Oh, there it is. It's the large spot. It's huge. <laughs> spring, spring, mark it, turn it over, mark it, spread the orange, spring, spring. Just that easy. Now, these, you know, being able to identify these really specifically by these landmarks is important because, you know, you don't know exactly which joint is, is causing the restriction, but you can pick out the bone. And once you get on the bone, you say, you know what, oh yeah, that hurts a little bit. Okay, just lean back a little bit, lean back. He's gonna lean back, I'm gonna lean back, keep going. I'm gonna pull a little bit, extract it open, I'm gonna put through it and pop. Ah. And that's the adjustment. Okay, so, you know, getting used to finding these specifically, doing your spring, you're, you're building up towards the adjustment. So, would you say capitate is just a little farther up from the Lister's tubercle or from lunate? Capitate, like uh, and you know, superior. You should, you, with a capitate, if you start from the bases of the metacarpals and then come towards you, because you'll hit the bump, as soon as you cross over the bump, you'll hit the depression. Right. And then right under that would depression. be where lunate is? Yes. Okay. Well, not the lunate, the capitate. Right, but under For the that. lunate, come off the radius, find the listers, now go distal and flex, there's your lunate. The oh, listers right. is the landmark for the lunate, LLL. Anatomical stuff, I should also find Uh Yes, if you follow this tendon over backwards, you should be able to find it as well. If you can see, you'll see the tendon. Which begs the question, where is Dr. Saperito? The actual point of the anatomical snuff box. Is it here, or is it here? Ah. Oh, it's there. It's a cool, I think it's there as well. And they, they're agreeing with me, but I take your point about the... The, uh, the practical position of the snuff box. Because practically speaking, because we were talking about this, turn that off. <laughs>